Doug, you've added another big name to your management team in Larry Robinson, a guy that as a player won six Stanley Cups. He won two Norris trophies, won a Conn Smythe, and, and then just decided to keep winning as a coach, helping the New Jersey Devils as the head coach win a Stanley Cup, and then other great runs with, as assistants with other teams. When an opportunity to bring a guy like that to your staff and help him impact this organization, what was the thought process and, and, and what does it mean? Well, uh, bringing someone like Larry in, I just think helps our hockey operations from top to bottom. Uh, his ability to talk to Mike Yo about coaching, that's one area that we don't have uh, on our staff as a former head coach. Uh, you can think you know what Mike's going through, but I don't know what Mike's going through. Larry does, so he's going to be able to relate to him on a lot of a lot of the things that, that he's going to go through. Uh, and he's coming as a consultant, and uh, uh, I can learn a lot from him. Our assistant coaches can. Uh, Paranko can touch like there's not an area of our hockey operations he can't touch to make us a better group and he's at a point in his life and his career too where I think being attached to something is important uh, but also having some free time to to enjoy as his wife and kids and grandkids is important and I think it's a great marriage for both sides. There is something to be said for learning how to win but then when you've done it as much as he has there's also something we've said for knowing how to win isn't there? There is, uh, you know, we're, we're obviously always striving to to win the first championship here, and then and then multiple ones after that. And to have someone that understands uh, where the bodies are buried along the way is very important for us. And uh, you know, what we what we're trying to do is is continue to build the foundation and the process. I think if the process is done, then then the results will come. And I think Larry's going to be a great uh, resource on telling us how to build that foundation and and, and how the process should work. Where do, where do you think you are and how do you assess where you are in terms of that foundation? Uh, I think we're moving ahead. I, I think that obviously Ken Hitchcock was a great resource in, in setting a standard for this franchise of excellence. Uh, we, we didn't reach our goals uh, in the playoffs. We own that. We live that. Uh, but I don't diminish where we were before he got here and what we accomplished when he was here, the record on the ice. Uh, it's great now when I first got here, there was an expectation to show up to the rink and not get blown out. Now there's an expectation to show up and win and win consistently and win big games. And I, I love that way better than the, prior, the, the former. So how do you use Larry as a resource? Uh, just talking to him. Uh, again, I, I don't have a stock answer for that because I've never worked with Larry before. Uh, I've worked, Bob Ganey uh, uh, filled this role with Ken Hitchcock for a while, but that was different. I knew Bob. Bob and I had worked for uh, 15 years together, so I, I knew his rhythms and what to expect. Larry is a sort of uncharted water for all of us, but uh, his reputation is an open book, a great, uh, a great communicator, uh, someone that loves life. I think it's going to be very easy for us to find ways to, uh, to dig into that. Let's go back to the foundation for just a second. When, when you look at the players that we've already seen in the early going in preseason, especially when you see you know four guys from one draft in the 2014 draft that look like they, whether it's more immediate or even close, could at some point have an impact and are, and are turning into decent players. How critical is that level of scouting and then, frankly, that level of success in scouting to keeping that foundation where you want it? Well, I think in, in today's NHL, in, in a cap system, you have to have younger players coming. And uh, to have younger players coming, you have to keep your draft picks <laughs> or you have to acquire draft picks. And, and, and that forces us as managers to make hard decisions on players that we really have a lot of time for, that we appreciate everything they've done. Uh, but you have to keep an eye on the future. That's, that's the job of management. But we're excited about the, the job that Bill Armstrong has been able to do on the amateur side. Uh, but more importantly, I'm excited about the attitude that the players have in coming every summer to work, working hard, trying to get better, wanting to be at the tops of their craft. So uh, excited about all these guys uh, coming in and, and uh, pushing, for it, pushing for this team. In that cap, salary cap era, can it be somewhat difficult to have patience to let those young players develop the way they need to develop? Uh, I hope we don't get into that. Uh, uh, the NHL fails as many players as players fail the NHL. That means putting players in situations to fail, not succeed. Uh, so if, if these guys are ready to help us, uh, we'll put them in there. I think you can have some growing pains uh, in the NHL, uh, but you can't have a growing pain team. They don't, I, my belief is they don't get better. They just learn to pick up bad habits. Instead of learning how to win, you learn how to survive. You, you can't win championships by surviving. You have to learn how to win. So with the injuries that you've had so far, well, what's an important thing that you will be looking at over the, the last, uh, say, week and a half of training camp? It's almost a shorter time frame than it's the next three games for a lot of these, uh, a lot of these players that have come in here, uh, like a Bo Bennett, 
uh, Sunquist, Yaskin, and then the younger players that you've talked about uh, that are trying to push their way in here. There's there's jobs to be had, and then there's ice time on important areas to be had. So the next three games are really going to help define who we believe is part of our group of 31 or 32 for that last week. When we get down to next Monday, we'll probably be at a group of players that should potentially have an opportunity to wear the note sometime this season. And so this next, this next three games mean a lot for a lot of guys. Doug, thank you. Thank you.